On the heels of a reckless and shameful federal tax giveaway to Republican campaign donors, California should send a message loud and clear. We don't want your stinking cuts. Our economy is outperforming most states in the nation as it is, and we don't want the devastating cuts to health care and social services that will soon accompany the revenue cuts at the federal level. The California legislature should enact our own state-level tax reform that will recoup the billions of dollars that Congress has handed over to the wealthiest 1% of our society and reserve those funds to cover the coming decreases in federal spending for programs in California, like Medicare and Medi-Cal. While it may not be possible to precisely offset the effect of the federal bill, California should aim to increase our state revenue in the same total amount and from the same sources as the beneficiaries of the congressional largesse. For instance, California should set up our own estate tax like 16 other states already do to offset devastating cuts in the federal estate tax. California should mirror the rate cuts in federal income tax brackets with comparable increases in our state income tax rates. California should raise our corporate income tax and reverse the unwarranted benefits in pass-through companies added at the last minute to the federal bill to the great personal benefit of Senator Bob Corker, Donald Trump, and many other real estate developers. California should increase its alternative minimum tax to offset decreases in the federal alternative tax. California should increase its mortgage deduction to offset decreases in the federal mortgage deduction that unfairly targeted states with high housing costs, like California. California will then be poised to watch our economy keep growing while red states go the way of Kansas, which wrecked its state budget and economy with a disastrous tax cut plan devised by the Koch brothers. That plan served as the model for the federal bill, which may well yield similar results. It'll be painful to watch our fellow Americans in other states suffer under the economic havoc that will come from this federal tax boondoggle. California should do our part in electing a new Congress in 2018 that can repair some of the damage. But in the meantime, it's time our state legislature puts California first. I'm Derek Cressman. Tell me what you think at www.derekcressman.com.